Hi all, I'm Lance Eaton and my talk is A Creative Common Call for Democratizing Knowledge in the 21st Century. Let's get the obvious out of the way. The following idea has some reasonable limitations. It is not a perfect idea, but nothing is. It can be gamed, well everything can, including the current system, and it is a material approach. Or it's a pragmatic approach that can help those who can't see our ideals and values to better understand and appreciate the work that civic and public engagement represents. So here we go. We inherently know the value of civic engagement in the public good. We get what it means when students see themselves as part of the community with agency and the means to contribute to a more vibrant and engaged populace. We swoon. Okay, I swoon when our research is used by scholars around the world, enhancing the discourse and sometimes changing lives and communities. We breathe more lightly with the emergence of stronger democratic institutions that come from our ideas, research, and practices becoming more mainstreamed, used in communities, organizations, and government. Those experiences are powerful, impactful, and in many ways priceless. Yet they are qualitative rooted in individual experiences that are harder to translate at the societal level. We need clearer mechanisms for translating the power of civic engagement in the public good in order to penetrate society's imagination about how transformative this work truly is. Short of a new system that outright rebuilds our means of communication, centers democratic values through the educational systems, and swiftly refutes the ever-growing tendrils of neoliberalism, we're left with few options. This is where civically engaged scholars, those invested in public good, and the open access movement need to come together. The open access movement looks to reinvent the traditional publishing model and move away from an approach that increasingly restricts access to research by scholars within the United States and worldwide. Over the last 40 years, the cost of accessing research has increased significantly, often with little reason than to make more profits. This model hinges upon scholars who freely give their research to publishers because at its core research is giveaway literature. Its power lies in accessing and sharing. But publishing as an industry operates from a faux scarcity model in the digital age. This makes access to knowledge harder for everyone. We all end up paying higher education, governments, nonprofits, hospitals, and other citizens. This model upends the 1940 statement of principles on academic freedom and tenure. After all, if the common good depends upon the free search for truth and its free exposition, then how do we reconcile the fact that we cannot freely search for the truth when it is hidden behind paywalls? All this leads me to consider, is there a way to think about publishing and leveraging open access research to communicate its value as civic engagement in public goods? What we need is an alternative way to crisply articulate the exponential value of that civic engagement and public work. What we need is a public dollar, a construct that can succinctly capture that value. Research literature has skyrocketed in prices over the past 40 years. These prices have little to do with actual costs of production and everything to do with the inelastic nature of these goods. Scholars need to ask access specific research literature. Scholars usually cannot trade out Article A for Article B. Publishers know this and work to squeeze out as much profit from this tension. By treating knowledge as a private good, even though much of it is supported by tax dollars, the market has revealed not only the value of such knowledge, but over the course of time, how that value should continue to grow. That is, we not only have the current rate of what such no tax-produced knowledge should cost, but also at what rate that cost should increase. What if we use that model to articulate just how invaluable such research is when placed where it belongs, in the public commons? What about creating a structure with actual formulas that provide a clear sense of what are the societal savings when research becomes open? Enough so that at any given time, every scholar, journal, academic society, and institution can clearly speak to their quant quanti quantitative contributions to the public good. Let's consider an example. This article, Cleavage of Structural Proteins, was published in Nature in 1970 by Lamley, who worked at a public university. It is one of the most cited journal articles in history, and to no surprise, is still locked behind a paywall 50 years later. It is $9 to read it within 48 hours, 32 to actually own it. 
If we wanted to indicate the public value of that research, we might do a basic calculation that each citation represents a download of a freely available article. That's a fairer measure than just access, since owning and the ability to return throughout one's research is inherently more valuable than paying money for temporary access. Thus, were this open an open access article, it would be valued at $9.4 million. But it doesn't stop there. Citations are largely used in discourse among scholars and the like. But what about other entities who might access and benefit from the research, but never have had the resources to do so? What about the people reading the research to help in their work at hospitals, law firms, NGOs, government, and industry? And let us not ignore those who just seek to learn. These would also represent $32 per download. Unfortunately, we don't know the, num the download numbers, but the download to citation ratio is skewed towards downloads. With a generous ratio of 1.5 to 1 downloads to citations, that's still another $14 million. This single article represents nearly $23 million of the public good. But that $32 per download is not a static number. It is a number that we can track over the past 50 years to understand its rate of increase and adjust the price accordingly over the years based upon the projection of value established by the market. Therefore, whenever new downloads are happening of articles that are decades old, we are sure to be capturing their appropriate value. Let the market lead the way in how to determine public value, how we create a representative public dollar. If, and I know that's a giant if, the civically engaged scholars, the open access community, and higher education as a whole can find a way of creating the right mechanisms and calculations, we will be able to capture and articulate this value, which is inherent to us, but often intangible to society as a whole. This will not only mean creating a tangible way to mark the impact of research within higher education, but around the world. It will also mean a paradigm realignment of keeping scholarship in the public for everyone to benefit from. Now, it's easier said than done, but it's a project worth pursuing to better articulate just how important the work is that we all do in the realm of civic engagement and open access. Thank you.